Cougars of Wisconsin. So I, here I am at Ohio Stadium, where Ohio State's about to face off with Wisconsin. And tonight, there's a lot of remarks as to how this Ohio State offense is going to work. Certainly the defense has stood up, but the question is, how in the world uh, will they do against Wisconsin? That's a question everybody wants to know. So why do people come? There's going to be over 100,000 people here tonight. It's the homecoming for Ohio State. And everyone who's on the radio and print, everyone, seems to say that the Buckeyes are going to lose tonight. So why in the world do people even come back? I hate the word! We go for the party. We go to be with the people we love. We go to meet famous people and get an autograph. We even dress a bit nutty. And we like to be with friends. Some of us go to the game to see great action, to see that throw, that catch, that theme song, those players. Some of us like the high speeds and the acrobatics that we see, the hard hitting, the near misses, and almost opportunities. Some of us go to see that one glorious moment that people talk about for ages. But no matter why we come, we come to cheer. We come to cheer on those who we put our trust in. And sometimes we get a, a bit overboard. But we also come to hear the sounds. We come to see the people develop. We come for team. For every home game, at the shoe, in the visitor's press room, you will find parents from both sides of the ball coming together, holding hands, and praying to God, giving thanks to God for all the opportunities they've been given, and also asking for the safety of all the players together. They come together in faith and hope, putting things in perspective, and ending with the Lord's Prayer and a handshake. So just after the game-winning touchdown by Braxton Miller to Devon Smith, here's the extra point after. Now, why is it fun to point out an extra point? Well, wait a second. As we zoom in here, see that guy in the middle there wearing blue right next to the red goalpost? That's right. That's yours truly. I was a sideline reporter for the game. It was a lot of fun. Well, here's the kick. And it's good. So many of us know what it's like to sit from the stands, although some of us haven't even gotten this close to the uh, actual field. Uh, it, it's a wonderful experience, let me tell you, and I hope that uh, everyone gets a chance to experience an Ohio State game uh, like I got to tonight. Tonight, the Ohio State Buckeyes take on the Wisconsin Badgers. And I tell you, it was, it was one for the books. It was exciting. Carmen, Ohio has never sounded so sweeter as it did tonight after the game, uh, after Braxton Miller threw that touchdown pass and after Wisconsin failed to score with time expiring, uh, the crowd, the students, everyone rushed the field and it was, it was an exhilarating feeling. And then you know what? That got me to thinking. It got me to thinking about how people must have felt when they heard the good news that Jesus was risen. When they heard the good news that death didn't have the final word, that life had the final word. And that's what I witnessed here tonight on this field. I saw uh, Ohio State losing. I saw Ohio State, everyone had Ohio State losing against the Badgers. Everybody did. But today, hope rang true. Today, people began to believe that Ohio State could beat Wisconsin, and they did. It was an amazing thing to see, and everyone was so incredibly happy. It was a lot of fun to be a part of. Kind of like our faith. In this special segment of Faith in Football, we start to think about the same thing. We start to think about how uh, the fact that Jesus is risen and the fact that we, like Buckeyes at the game, we have reason to cheer. We have reason to get up and shout out loud with joy and excitement and exhilaration. As exciting as the game was, if we lose next week, it won't mean anything. Good thing the victory in Jesus we have lasts forever.